Welcome in guys, Eric here with another EWE Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about 80 for Brady. Uh, first off, this is a spoiler free review, so I'm not going to be spoiling anything about the movie. However, I might make light or imply some stuff based on the fact that it's uh, from a Super Bowl that's already been played and we know the results. So they do play when bringing some of the stuff from the Super Bowl into the movie. I might imply some stuff, but don't worry, for the most part this is spoiler free. I'm not even sure how I would spoil something like this. This is a weird one to spoil. Just uh, enjoy the ride, guys. All right, so please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you thought about this movie, if you've seen it, or if you want to see it, or let me know what else you guys want me to review. Uh, first off, let's give you some info about this movie. So, like I said, this is a spoiler-free review. Release date, February 3rd, 2023. Uh, making his directorial theatrical movie, so his first movie, direct, director one, um, Kyle Marvin. Uh, he's done some other stuff, been producer in a lot of things. He's also directed a show, but this is his first movie directed. Um, all right, moving on to the cast. We have Lily Tomlin, Jane Fonda, Rita Moreno, Sally Field, and of course, Tom Brady, the guy that it's all about, Tom Brady, with a runtime of 98 minutes. Um, all right, that's the basic info. Um, one thing to note is... Well, actually, I'll say I want to put my thoughts on the movie. So the basic plot is that four friends, they're older women and are close to their age. Some of them are in their 80s, some of them are still late 70s. Uh, they decide that they want to go to a Super Bowl. They're huge Tom Brady fans, and they think this Super Bowl in Houston might be their last chance to see Tom Brady in a Super Bowl. Um, funny that they think that because Tom actually goes to, I think, three more Super Bowls after the events of this, what should be the Super Bowl. Um, but yeah, and they end up going to the Super Bowl or attempt to go to Super Bowl and everything that goes around that weekend is it's, it's pretty funny the things that they get themselves into. If you see the trailer, they actually do get high on edibles at one point. I laugh at the things that happen to them. Um, each one of the women has their own little things. So my basic thoughts on the movie, and that, that's the basic plot. They're just trying to get to a Super Bowl, guys. And as someone who loves the Super Bowl, and but sadly my team never goes, I get their feeling like, oh, you want to go see this guy? Uh, they love Tom Brady. They have like little things about Tom. It, it's great. It's very cute. You can definitely tell Tom worked on this movie. <laughs> I think he's one of the executive producers. Um, but yeah, it was. It, it's fun. Um, my thoughts on the movie, like I said, it's funny that this is the Super Bowl they choose. Like I said, I'm going to imply some stuff. So if you actually look at that Super Bowl, this is the 28 to 3 Super Bowl. So you can kind of tell they're going to try and use ways of having that reflect on the movie and use it. And you wouldn't use the other Super Bowls because I want to say one of them's the ones after the after he won this Super Bowl. One of them, he lost to the Eagles. Uh, another one he won against the Rams, his last Super Bowl as a Patriot. And the one with the Rams, even if that would have been his last one as a, even though that was his last one as a Patriot, the game was so boring that you couldn't really make a movie around it. And the one with the Buccaneers, they just beat the crap out of the Chiefs, if I'm not mistaken. So in reality, this was the last Super Bowl they could actually use as like a storytelling device because the game actually works great for like a storytelling element to it. Um, but you'll see that when you watch the movie. Um, other thoughts is I like the dynamic of the four women. You get this Golden Girls feel to it. I, I want to say the only problem I really have with it is that I think all four of these actresses, they were overqualified for this position. They all have this, this subtle way of being able to make these comedic moments work, and it worked with all of them. I'm not sure how they did it. Um, uh, it, it felt like they um the women really brought this movie together when you see some of the supporting cast they probably don't do as great of a job as the women do but they do such a good job that i just want to see what next thing are they going to get into um they have like each one has a different player like one of them's in love with gronk and even writes uh fan fiction with gronk um and yeah, little things here and there. Each one has like their own little dynamics. Like Sally Field's character, she's the brains of the operation. Lily Tomlin's character, she is like the leader of the group. Jane Fonda is like the flirt of the group, the one that like gets with guys and stuff like that. It has like a Sex in the um, Sex in the City vibe a little bit to it. And Rita Moreno, she's like the wild card. You never know what she's gonna get herself into. Somehow it moves the story along. Uh, she's like uh, my Charlie from It's Always Sunny. Like, just watch out. She's gonna get herself into some hijinks. Just enjoy, watch the ride. 
And they have great cameos in this movie from other people, such as um, Guy Fieri, a bunch of NFL stars. Ah, I'm trying to remember those other people as well, but I can't name them all off the top of my head. But it, it's just fun how they got all these characters to work together. Um, so, like, the bad side of the movie is that it's highly predictable what's going to happen, even what's going on with the characters. Like, it's not hard to see where the movie's going at any point in time. You're kind of like, okay, we're eventually going to get to this part. We're eventually going to get to this part. The trailer kind of gives away too much. But you, it's not like you feel dissatisfied when you actually do see the ending and how they do things. It's kind of like, you know what? I'm fine with how they ended it. I, I thought it was good. I'll give it a score in a second. But the way they used everything and intertwined, I... I have no problem with anything that they did in this movie. Like I said, it's predictable. They do kind of go at your emotions, especially when you kind of find out why they became such big Tom Brady fans. You think, oh man, that's really cool that that is something that they use. Like they use sports as a way to deal with real world problem. And to me, that that that's kind of like nice. The sports were an escape for something that was going on in their lives at the time. And this game means a lot to them. And they end up having like a crazy weekend, and I'm just like, damn! If I was an NFL fan and I got to experience that, I'd be, I'd be off my mind, just excited about everything that happened. So that was really cool. Um, they use good elements when they do show the Super Bowl, the 2017 Super Bowl. It seems like they use actual footage from the game and they just put it, wove it in here. I'm guessing they worked with the NFL to be able to do stuff like that. It's all good. Um, so yeah, on to my score. Like you can tell, I really enjoyed the movie, guys. I didn't go in with high expectations, I'll admit that. Um, so maybe that probably gives it a higher score than maybe I should be giving it. But for me, it was good. It was a seven out of 10, good. Um, everything's by the book, but that's fine. Sometimes it's fine just to know a movie that you're going in, you're gonna get exactly what you're expecting. It really is just like an hour and a half movie. I know it's like 98 minutes, but it feels like an hour and a half movie. Not too long, not too short. Uh, they. You don't really need to do too much growth with the characters, but they do have like their moments and just seeing them all intertwined together work well for me. Um, yeah, seven out of 10, the moments where Brady, luckily he's not in a lot of the stuff. So even though I do want to punch him in the face because, you know, Tom Brady always screwed the Chargers over, even our best years. Uh, he got his good moments. So it, it was nice. Um, what's really funny is that this movie came out on February 3rd. And on February 1st, Tom Brady announces retirement from the NFL again. So it was just like crazy timing, like, oh, wow, Brady's movie comes out right after he announces that he's retiring. So that might help get the movie a few more people to watch it. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this movie, 7 out of 10. I definitely think you should watch this movie. Maybe not in theaters, maybe wait till it's on streaming or something like that. But it has a nice, sweet message to it, especially with the friendship. Um, yeah, I really like the the way all four women actually like combined together they knew how to talk to each other you felt like oh we're friends this is just like you dealing with your normal group of friends uh me who have a group of friends similar to that i was just like oh okay this is really cool to see um yeah it was fun i definitely recommend you go watch this guys um so yeah those are my thoughts on the movie i don't want to say any spoilers but i'm pretty sure a lot of you will see what's going to happen but it doesn't take away from the fun that's actually there um, all right, my next review for a new movie, I'm not sure right now. I kind of want to go watch the new Magic Mike movie when it comes out. I've seen the other two, so now it's just like, you know what, screw it. Let's just see what crazy things they're doing now. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, please check out some of my other reviews that I just had. I had a review for House Party. If you guys want to see me tear into a movie, that's the one to watch. Usually I'm very nice in a lot of these reviews. I could not be that nice of that movie. Um, all right, guys, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what you guys thought about this movie or any other movie you guys want me to review. Um, but thanks a lot, guys. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.